In this video, you will learn how to properly burn on an intercell connector. Burning on an intercell is very similar to burning on a lead head, except instead of working with one post cavity, you will be working simultaneously on two post cavities during the burn on process. To burn on an intercell, you will need an intercell connector, a hammer, a lead stick or burn bar, and a flame or heat source. Prior to burning on the intercell, we had to rebuild the post. See the video entitled Rebuilding a Post on QuickHowTo.com. Now that the post is rebuilt, we're ready to burn on the intercell. We have to be sure the vent caps are removed before beginning the burn on process. As a reminder, you should always purge the gas before beginning this process. This allows the hydrogen gas to escape from the cell chambers. This is especially important since we are using an open flame. Place the intercell connector on the posts. The intercell is not polarity specific, so it doesn't matter which way you place the intercell on the posts, but be sure it's securely in place. Gently tap with a hammer to seat the intercell. Once the intercell is in its proper position, you're ready to start the burn on process. Setting a proper flame goes a long way to ensure a proper burn. Only trained personnel should operate a fuel-based torch. We are using an oxygen acetylene mixture with a single orifice flame tip. Other desirable fuel mixtures are natural gas and oxygen or propane and oxygen. It's important to understand the properties of metal to ensure a proper weld. Lead alloy is a relatively soft metal so it doesn't require extremely high temperatures to change to liquid form. An oxygen acetylene mixture is hotter than a propane or natural gas mixture so it's important to adjust your flame accordingly. Once you have your flame lit, you should adjust it to establish a medium flame. Adjust the oxygen and acetylene levels until you have a desirable inner cone. Now you are ready to actually perform the burn on. With the burn bar in one hand and the torch in the other, begin applying heat to the post, starting with the middle and moving outward to the edge in a circular motion. Continue to apply heat until the post becomes liquefied and starts collapsing into the intercell. Gradually add lead from the burn bar a little at a time, continuing to apply heat to the cavity. This will ensure a strong bond all the way through. Repeat these steps to the other post cavity. Now go back to the first post and fill the cavity to the top using lead from the burn bar. Do the same to the other post cavity. Once the cavities are completely filled you can stop adding lead. Finish off the burn by applying heat to the top of the intercell to smooth out the surface. Be sure you let it cool before touching the terminal. Let's review the burn on process again. Place the intercell around the posts. Seat the intercell. Adjust the flame. Apply heat to the post in a circular motion. Slowly add lead. Apply more heat. Let cool. From the point in which you apply heat until you've completed the burn-on, it should take less than a minute and a half, slightly longer than the burn-on process of a lead head. It takes practice to become proficient in this process, but following these steps should help you master it in no time at all. For more videos in our material handling series, visit quickhowto.com.